This is Marcel Brown bringing you some technology history for September 22nd through the 25th. September 22nd, 1986. The U.S. District Court for the Northern District of California rules that computer code is protected under copyright law. The ruling stems from the case NEC Corp. v. Intel Corp., which was basically a battle over who had the right to produce x86 processors. The ruling, while finding that Intel had copyright protection for the code in their processors, also found that reverse engineering code was also legal and therefore NEC did not violate Intel's copyright in producing their own x86 processors. This ruling, that code could be copyrighted, changed the landscape, for better or worse, of software and computer development. September 23, 2008. Google and T-Mobile introduce the T-Mobile G1, also known as the HTC Dream, the world's first Android-based smartphone. September 24, 1979. CompuServe launches the first consumer-oriented online information service, which they called Micronet. This marked the first time a consumer had access to services such as email. The service was not favored internally within the business-oriented CompuServe, but as the service became a hit, they renamed the service CompuServe Information Service, or CIS. By the mid-1980s, CompuServe was the largest consumer information service in the world, and half the revenue came from CIS. In 1989, CompuServe connected its proprietary email system to the Internet email system, making it one of the first commercial Internet services. However, CompuServe did not compete well with America Online or independent Internet service providers in the 1990s and lost its dominant market position. September 25, 1973. Microcomputer Machines of Canada introduces their MCM70 microcomputer at a programmer's user conference in Toronto. Possibly the earliest commercially manufactured device that can now be considered a personal computer, the MCM70 gained customers at companies such as Chevron, Mutual Life Insurance, NASA, and the U.S. Army. The company worked closely with Intel on the design of their computer and made very early use of the Intel 8008 processor, of which the basic design was used for the future Intel 8086. However, failing to generate venture capital in the Canadian marketplace, the MCM70 never gained significant market acceptance, and by the time the Apple II and other early personal computers were being released, the MCM70 was relegated to a footnote in history. That's your technology history for today. For more, tune in tomorrow and visit my website, thisdayintechhistory.com.